Chris Grau with TheScenereport.com, and I have Ryan from Yellow Card here with me today at the Music Festival. Ryan, you guys are supposedly recording a record right now. How do you have time to do this? Um, we're not on the road right now, so uh, we just came off the road in December, took the holidays off, started writing first of the year, and we're ready to go. So we start. We actually start tracking on Monday, two days from now. You are working on your second album now, back from hiatus. Um, what's, it, what's the difference between like this time around and last time? The biggest thing is that we, we really just try to keep ourselves focused on the task at hand and, and kind of take it minute by minute instead of worrying about what's going to happen six months down the road or what the next album is going to be, how it's going to perform, how, you know, who's going to like it and not like it. I think we've become uh, much more aware of, of how important what we're doing at the moment, whether it be this interview or the show we play or whatever, and really taking that all in. When you're 23, 24 years old and all of a sudden you, beyond your wildest dream comes true, it's really hard to keep paying attention to everything that's happening in the moment. You just start thinking like, oh, well, how am I going to keep this up and how are we going to, you know? And I, I think that's a lot of what wore the band down over the course of time. And, um, you know, we toured 30 countries last year and, and we were gone for nine months. It was intense and we loved every minute of it. And, and uh, I don't know, I just think we're in a great place mentally. So that's really what we're trying to do is just not not get ahead of ourselves. So this is the Muse Inc. Festival, it's about tattoos and stuff. Um, I imagine you've seen a lot of yellow card fan tattoos over the years. What's maybe the most regrettable one you've seen? Not that it's bad, but regrettable. I mean, I think the worst thing is I've just seen some really bad artwork, you know? I mean, some. I mean, the, the most common tattoos are, honestly, usually it's the lyric, Be Strong Believe, that's what most people get. And I've just seen some ones that were like, oh man, you could probably... Some, someone could have done a better job, but I've never seen anything just like, whoa, what are you doing with that? This isn't really a question, but from one of our, our readers, uh, we've been asked to have you ask Sean to put out a new Revolver album. I am one of the biggest Revolver fans on the planet Earth. I, I, when I was 25, 26 years old, I, they were just kind of really getting rolling with their first full-length album, and I was actually like wanting to manage the band. I mean, I was like obsessed with them, and Sean and I have been friends for over a decade. So, Sean, please make another Revolver record. I would love that. I'm letting you go. 